Hi, in this lecture we will see what are the basic data types in Python. We have already seen string. So let's get into strings a bit and then we will see what is an integer value, what is a floating point value and then what are boolean values. Okay. So first uh, if you see the string, string is always kept within these double quotes. Whenever you see something written within double quotes that is a string. So the basic definition of a string is a sequence of characters. And if you have to declare anything as a string, you have to put it within the double quotes. Otherwise, it will not be recognizing as a string. Now, you can do subscript, sub, subscripting in a string. For example, if I write square braces after a string and if I write zero, then it is going to... Asha, one more thing you have to be careful about is, in any programming language, the counting begins from zero. We have to always start from zero. You, have, you might get confused that you might start it with 1. So whenever your output is just differing by 1, you have to understand that there is a mistake that you have done. And always the counting is going to start from 0 in any programming language, C, C++, Java, Python, it is always starting from 0. Now if you observe it, what I have done is, I have taken the string Ravindra and then I have added a subscript. And in the subscripting, I am given zero, which means I am going into the string and I am getting the zeroth character. So if you observe the output, R is printed, right? Similarly, if you write four, then N will be printed. Check this, N is printed because zero, one, two, three, four. So N is the fourth position. And there is one thing that you have to understand in Python is, there will be negative subscripting also. So for example, if you have to go into a string from the ending, not from the beginning, then you can use negative numbers. If I use minus one here, then it is going to go to the end and fetch the last character from the end. It is not minus zero, okay? Minus zero is not available. So minus one, you have to go with minus one. So you can see that A is given. So if I write minus four, it will give me last fourth character from the end. So n is given, right? So one thing you have to understand is sometimes some people will think that if they write a number within the double quotes, it will be treated as a number, but that is wrong. For example, if I try to write one, two, three within double quotes, you might think that one, two, three is an integer number, but it is not. So if you try to add two number two strings, if I write plus and if I write three, four, five, what do you think will be the output? You might think that 123 is added to 345. No, that is not true. 123 is a string and 345 is a string and there will be string concatenation. Here the plus will always act as a concatenation operator when you apply it on strings. Okay. So it is one, two, three, three, four, five. Okay, now if you have a very big number, if you have a very large number, let us say of nine, nine characters, if you have a number having nine digits, for example, one, two, three, no, two. don't tell us one. If you have a very large number like this, Generally, when we write it in a notebook, we use we have a convention of putting commas within the number so that the number will be split into billions and billions, right? So, but here you can also do it by writing underscore. Within a number, you can write an underscore and it will act as a comma. So let's let's put underscores here like this. Okay, so it acts as comma. Now the next thing is floating point number. So these are all integers. Integers can be big, small, anything. And floating point numbers, floating point number is nothing but any number that has a decimal point is called as a floating point number. 12.3, 15.4, something like that, okay? So for example here, this is a float. Number equal to 12.5 is a float, okay? Floating point number. And now, like that, we can also have Boolean variables or Boolean data type. Now, a Boolean variable can take two values. One is true, another is false. So, this is Boolean. Okay. So, these are all basic things 
and uh, once we get into big programs we will start using all these things that we have learned we are just brushing up your concepts okay we will get into big programs where uh, we are going to use floating points integers strings boolean variables everything okay thank you